Hey, this is Mark with Swine Life. Today I'm gonna show you one of our favorite beef and mushroom pizzas we do on the pellet grill. I got the Grilla Grill Silverback fired up behind me at 500 degrees. We're running some Bear Mountain Pecan pellets. This is a quick and easy recipe. I got most everything prepped. All we gotta do is assemble this pizza, get it on that 500 degree pellet grill, gonna be one heck of a pizza. Let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is get our dough rolled out. Now y'all know we love to buy dough from a local pizzeria in our hometown. They make it a lot better than we can and it makes it that much easier. So I have our dough balls, get a little bit of flour on our board, get a little bit on the dough ball. I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna use a rolling pin. We're just gonna roll this out to the size we want. I go pretty big to get this thrust good and thin, that way it stays crispy. Try to keep it as round as you can. You can tell it's kind of drawing back up. So I'm gonna roll it out a little bit bigger than I really need it to be. So one of the tricks we like to do is use butcher paper. Instead of a pizza stone or pizza pan, same thing, get our flour on here. We're trying to gently grab our dough. This allows you to move the pizza from the prep service to your pellet grill. So the next thing we're gonna do, we got our dough rolled out, we're gonna make our pizza sauce. Now I'm using just a store-bought Alfredo sauce. Keep this simple, we're just gonna get it Pour it a little bit in there so we can get it good and shook up. Get a little bit more. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of prepared horseradish to our sauce. This is a beef and mushroom pizza, so this horseradish is gonna go great with it. Add as much or as little as you like. I'm gonna do about a heaping tablespoon. I'm a pretty good horseradish fan. And then we're just gonna get it mixed up. So we'll take our spoon, go right over our pizza dough we just rolled out. You can use any kind of cream sauce. It does not have to be an Alfredo. I would stick to white sauce. So next up, gotta put the cheese on it. Now I'm gonna go pretty heavy. Get a good layer of cheese all over. We got some ground beef we just sauteed in the skillet. Go right over the top. Got some sauteed mushrooms, same thing. Always saute your mushrooms and cook them down because they have a lot of water in them. Diced red onion. Then I'm gonna come back with our prime beef because it is a beef and mushroom pizza. Just a light layer of some salt, pepper, garlic. Just a sprinkle, a touch more cheese to hold the toppings together. And then I have some store-bought chimichurri. You can make your own. This just keeps it easy. We're just gonna do a light drizzle over the whole pizza. That baby there is ready to get on the pit. So one thing I forgot to mention is don't wear a black shirt when you're rolling dough balls out and take you some scissors and trim the butcher paper off around your pizza. It don't have to be perfect. You just want a little edge around the edge of it. So you can pull this butcher paper off after a few minutes of it being on the pit. So to make it even easier, I'm using the Griller Grills jerky rack. That way you get to transfer two pizzas at the same time. We're finna get it in the pit, just like so. I have done up to six pizzas. Actually, you can do eight if you use your bottom. We're gonna give it just a few minutes, let that crust start cooking, and then all we gotta do is take our pizza peel, we'll slide that butcher paper right out from under it, finish cooking, and get that pellet grill flavor. So our pizzas have been on for about three or four minutes. You can tell they're already cooking and looking really good. All the cheese is melting. You just wanna look and see that this crust is separated from that butcher paper. I'm gonna be careful about it. I don't have my hot gloves on, but take my pizza peel and just slide it out from underneath there. Pour your butcher paper out like so. All that airflow we're gonna crisp that crust up. We're gonna get a great flavor and great crust. Looking good already. About another three or four minutes, these babies will be done. So these pizzas been on the pellet grill for about 10 minutes. It's time to get them off. I already checked them. The cheese is bubby. The crust is golden brown. They're perfect. So let's get them off before they burn up. And I always like to transfer them to a cooling rack. That way they have time to cool and it'll keep your crust from getting soggy. It'll stay good and crispy. We'll let them cool for about five minutes before we cut into them. And then we'll see what this pizza's all about. So we got the pizzas off the cooling rack and on the cutting board. Just as a quick recap, we start off some dough balls we picked up from a local restaurant. Got some Alfredo sauce mixed with a horseradish on it. All our favorite toppings with that ground beef, mushroom, onions, a little bit of prime beef, and then topped it with chimichurri. Of course, you gotta have all that mozzarella cheese, and it turns out to be a fine pizza at 500 degrees on the pellet grill. The crust is perfectly golden brown. All the cheese is melted. I mean, it smells awesome. I wish y'all could smell it. That chimichurri really sets it off. So I'm gonna go right into this one right here. Of course, you can hear that crust is just as crispy as can be. That right there is one fine little slice of heaven. If you like a savory, good, just beef flavor on a pizza, this is it right here. All that mozzarella adds that good fat to it. Of course, ground beef is good, all that other stuff, but that chimichurri sets it off. It goes so good with this pizza. I mean, that crust is perfect. That's a wrap for today at Swine Like. We appreciate y'all checking this video out. Y'all give this recipe a try on your pellet grill, on your charcoal grill, it don't matter. Get outside, get to cooking. If y'all got any questions, shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram. And as always, like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all next time.